what is cracking game developer gangsters now before we start this video i have a really really cool announcement that is i'm teaming up with ahmed my friend or Yaros or however he is pronouncing that and he makes popular tenogen skins for warframe yes warframe your favorite game and this is ahmed right here i'm going to put his image so right here and i'm going to put his game characters you know somewhere around here that he created that you can play in warframe so why is this exciting news well i have teamed up with him and we are going to start to create and publish video games on google play store and on steam and so on and so forth but what is cool about that is that i am going to document all of that and i'm going to publish our journey on YouTube and you're going to benefit and learn from that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to do a reality check in this video because the truth is game development is not for everyone. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this to discourage you like a lot of people in the comments are like, oh, thanks for this demotivating video. No, 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 okay? So I'm not trying to demotivate you. I'm simply telling things how they are because most of us, or basically every single person who loves game development, he starts with game development thinking that he will learn how to create games, he will get a job in a really cool game studio working on some really cool games or eventually create his own, own game, publish it and earn money or earn for a living. When I say earn money, I'm not saying like earn millions of dollars, you know, hot chicks, cool supercars, big houses and whatnot. I wanna be a rock star. But you know, have a decent living, you can afford whatever you want to afford to yourself, you have a nice life, you can eat whatever you want to eat, and yeah, you do what you love, which is the most important thing. But unfortunately, this doesn't happen for majority of people, and the reason for that is, well, very simple. You see, in game development and in programming in general, things need to get worse before they can get better. And this is something that, well, you need to understand. And again, I'm not saying this to, you know, discourage you or whatnot, because I see a lot of people do this mistake. They jump into game development, hoping that the next month they will learn how to create their dream game, they will publish it, and they will earn money. Well, do a little reality check on yourself. That's simply not real. And I'm telling things how they are. I'm not going to tell you, okay, jump into game development. You will learn how to create games in eight weeks and then you will be job ready and companies will battle with each other who is going to hire. That is simply not real. And the sooner you realize this, the better you will, well, pass through the learning phase. Because when you start to learn game development and programming in general, you need a lot of patience because a lot of patience is required on that path. You will bump into a lot of obstacles. And if you don't know how to deal with them, then your chances of quitting before you even, you know, start to dive into game development are very, very high. And I've seen this a lot over the past six years. People start to watch my videos. They watch two, three videos and usually the hardest ones, you know, beginners come, they want to create first person shooter games. And then they complain how game development is hard, how they cannot figure it out and eventually they quit. Well, in order for you to avoid that, don't start with the, you know, hardest thing. Start with simple things, learn the basics first. And also keep in mind, Keep in mind, <laughs> keep in mind, whatever obstacle, whatever problem you are facing, there is always a solution to that problem. Now, it might take you a day to figure it out, it might take you a week, it might take you a month, but eventually you will figure it out. And don't think that that only happens to beginners. That is not true. I remember when I was creating my mobile game that I have published way back, like four years ago, I stumbled upon a bug that took me... I believe six or seven days, even more than a week, I cannot remember correctly, but I think it was more than a week to figure out how to fix it. And when I finally did, it was something so silly, so, so stupid that I still cannot believe that was the problem. But my point is, yes, you will run into problems, you will run into bugs, and there is a solution for every bug and every problem that you encounter, so don't get discouraged by that. And another thing that I want to point out is that the more difficult the problem is that you face, 
the better you will be at programming and problem solving when you face it or when you solve it. Because you see, game development and programming, so coding, writing code in general is all about solving problems. The more problems you face, the more problems you solve, the better programmer you will be. The more you will start thinking like a programmer, thinking how to solve a problem. The more, the more you do it, more and more solutions will come in your head and you will know more and more ways to solve or handle a situation situation that you are in. So when you get stuck the next time, you know, learning game development, don't think of it like, oh, this is a problem that I cannot face. It's too difficult. I need to quit. No. Think of it like, oh, cool. I have a problem that I need to solve that will improve my game development skills, that will improve my programming problem solving skills, and it will improve my programming skills in general. What the f does that mean? So when you when you think of it like this, you will be motivated to work harder and to advance even more and more. So as a summary, don't think that learning game development is all, you know, rainbows and sunshine. It's not easy, especially not in the beginning. You will bump into problems. You will run into obstacles. The road will be difficult in the beginning. So be prepared for them. And always remember, no, pro no matter how hard the problem is that you are solving, no matter how hard you think that the current topic at hand is hard to understand, there is always a solution if you stick to it. And if you think of it like this, if you approach game development this way, then I guarantee you that you will learn how to code and make games. And any other person who tries to learn game development Using this approach, he will be able to learn how to code and make games. Now, it might take you a month or two or three or six or a year, but you will definitely learn it. You will definitely, and don't get discouraged by me saying a year. How much, how long or how much time you spend in college? On average, it's four years. If you graduate everything on, on time. If you don't, that's five years, six years, seven years. And still when you, you know, when you graduate, you don't know anything. So yeah, even if it takes you a year to learn, you will learn and you will know and have the skills to apply them. So remember all of this next time when you think about quitting game development or quitting the project you're working in, so on and so forth. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a, you know, thumbs up, give it a like, you know, push the algorithm with the channel, you know, you know, and also <laughs> comment the video, share it so that others can see. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know, you will get notified when a new video is out. Also, I have a few links down below that will help you learn game development, improve your skills and so on and so forth. And you can check out Ahmed's channel, the dude that I said that we are going to collaborate and create some cool and awesome games. And I will inform you about that and I will publish those games and I will make them available for you, of course. And uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, I guess stay out of jail. See ya.